The key to a good fence is strong corners and braces, and the key to good corners and braces is setting your posts. No doubt your fence will be tested by the elements of wind, rain, and freezing temperatures, not to mention the added pressure from your livestock. As a general rule, when you set a brace post, you should dig a hole that is at least half as deep as your fence will be high. For instance, if you want a six foot tall fence, you should use a nine foot post and dig a hole that is three feet deep. Most of the time, I can get by just using my clamshell digger for setting one or two posts. But if you have especially rocky or compact soil, or if you're planning to set a lot of posts, you may want to use a power auger to get the job done. As you dig, raise the auger every few inches to remove the buildup of loose dirt from the hole. I like to go down about another four to six inches and add gravel to the bottom of the hole to keep moisture away from the exposed end of the post. If you plan to use concrete, the hole should be about four inches wider than the widest dimension of the post. So for our eight inch post, we've dug this 16 inch wide hole, giving us four inches of clearance all around. Pour in about eight to 12 inches of mix for each post. While the concrete is still wet, place the post in the hole and work it down. Plumb and level the post and use 2x4 braces to hold it in place. Continue filling the hole with concrete and use a bar or other tool to work any trapped air out of it. You'll also want to add concrete up to a few inches past the top of the hole and then slope the surface of the concrete away from the post. This will help keep the water from pooling around the base of your post and cause the water to drain away. Once you set it right, you can build the rest of your fence with confidence knowing you've got a great foundation to start from. Thank you.